Hey, what's up guys? Hope everyone out there is doing well. My name is Mike. We're about to get right back into the show Fallout from 2024. This is Season 1, Episode 5, The Past. Uh, this is a show that I, I'm just so excited about it. I'm already halfway through and it's just such an awesome show. I, I've said that in every reaction I've filmed uh, for this season so far. And um, yeah, it's just I, I can't get enough. And uh, I finally get a chance to sit down again after um, you know, I haven't watched this in a few days. Uh, since my last reaction so um i'm excited to jump back in last thing just for my own benefit what the last thing i remember um lucy saved the ghoul she got thrown into super duper mart was going to get her arg organs harvested and um she ended up doing you know doing right for him even though he didn't do right by her so uh he saved or she saved him cooper and we didn't see much of Maximus and Thaddeus. I, we didn't see them at all in the last episode. So eager to see what's going on with them. They have the, uh, what's his name, Wilzig's head with a chip. So they're going to cross paths again. I just know it. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump in, guys. Get a drink or a snack. Let's get back into the wasteland. Here we go. Episode 5, The Past. Mm -hmm. everywhere <laughs> you should brand me uh, i'm not officially your squire until you brand me it's late. <laughs> i want you to i want you to please you gonna be branded with the mark of a dead knight yeah let's do it most sacred duty to protect me knight titus do you accept oh yeah bad idea <laughs> man i still hate that he lied Max took it way better than he did. Oh, thank you, my Titus. Yeah, yeah. Can he even do that without the whole ceremony? Titus and Thaddeus, the T boys. Yeah. Hey, look. Uh, before we go back, there's probably something I. Ooh. ooh. I, I should tell you. Yeah. Sooner the. <laughs> we should have done it after the branding. Actually, it's. Oh, dude. Maximus. Ooh. Better late than never, man. We can still be friends. What did you do? First night Titus. He's dead. You and I, we, we just have to get our story straight. They're gonna kill you. Come on, I mean, they don't have to find out. They'll find out. What is that? I'm sorry. Ooh. Oh, he's gonna open it. Here's the fusion core. Oh, it's a fusion core key. Thaddeus. Ooh. Don't leave me in here. I'll kill you, Thaddeus. You should have. I can't believe you let you brand me. Thaddeus. Man. Okay, I wanted him to tell him way earlier. He should have, you know? And I didn't expect this outcome. That he would flip out and, you know, and that Max would try to kill him too. That, you know, like I said, uh, I can't remember which episode, which reaction I said this in, but did he end up doing that thing to Dane by putting the blades in the boots? I don't know, man. He could have. If he had, if he could have killed Thad right now, then who knows, man. But uh, yeah. Hey, you know what? If he if he did kill Titus and he did kill Dane, then I guess this is fair that he's getting left like this. I'm sure it's not the last we're gonna see of him, but still. Ah! Dang. How's he gonna get out of this? Ooh, rad roaches. Oh man, they can't get in there though, huh? Ooh. Please, no, 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 not from there! They, oh, they're gonna try to find a way in. 
Ooh, who saved him? Is it the ghoul? Or it's the chick? It's Lucy. Yup. Oh. That's pretty gross. How'd she know how to do that? That was you, right? Back in Philly? Yes, that was... that was me. Why can't you move? Did someone stole my fusion quick. Can you please let me out? I really want to trust you, but I've had a rough week. And people are not really trustworthy up here. I remember that uh, man I left with? Yes. Hey, I'm looking for his head. Hey, Ooh. you radiation sickness. I, I got rat away, left in the sleeve of my army. If you don't get this medicine, you're gonna pass out. You lose consciousness. We're both gonna die. What's your name? Titus. I'm not Titus. I'm Lucy. God. There's a manual option. He's just... I got it. Oh. He's a flawed character. That's one of the things that makes this show good. Not everything is glowy and gonna be easy, you know? The T60, right? My army started using these after the Battle bit. of Anchorage. And he's even got the tempered lining in this one, which is... <laughs> oh. I guess she let him out just in time. Whether or not she can trust him, she needed to get him out of there. How did the Raiders get a hold of my mom's pit boy? Maybe the logs were falsified. Why? This is the thing you're asking why about. I want to check one more thing. Can't we just go home? Chet, he's almost like a little kid. We're like, no, we need, really need to go back now. Now I wonder if this all happened suddenly, where they all took themselves out, or if this was gradually. Oh, they were like trying to get... We know what's in there. It looks like they were trying to get into 31, but why? Yeah, why? We're leaving. We know what's in there. They haven't shown anyone that was from Vault 31 except for her, uh, Lucy's pops, right? He used to be from Vault 31 until he married her mom and came to their vault. If anybody asks where we were, I'll have a heart attack. Norman? Chester? Where have you two been? We've been planting Plant tate potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> well, run along now. Man, he's short. I just now realized how short he is. I know Chet's tall, but still. They're an unlikely duo, seeing them two walk together. You need to be cooking those rat roaches. They make for good eating in the game. I had no idea people lived in those vaults. What did you think was in them? Monsters. <laughs> some of them have some monsters in them. Oh, my squire stole something vital to the Brotherhood. I've got to go after him. Good luck. Wait, this brotherhood of yours. You guys have more of those T-60s? Yeah. And guns? I'm not messing around type guns. Yes. Yep. I have a tracker that'll lead right to that head. Seeing as everybody on Earth seems to be after that thing, I'm guessing that's what you're looking for too? What are you suggesting? We travel together and take it to the brotherhood. In exchange for my help, you'll lend me the services of five or six of your knights to save my father. Hey, that's not- that's not horrible. The thing is, he has to kill a fad. Look, you could have been lying about the medicine and you weren't. You could have killed me when I collapsed back there, and you didn't. I get that trust doesn't come easily up here, but you can trust me. You're not from a place where the worst someone can do to you is forget to say thank you. Sounds like a nice way to live. <laughs> It is. I actually hate that too. I hate when people can't say thanks for stuff. It's such a simple, automatic, should be automatic thing. And there's people who just don't say it. And it's like, dude, it, it, you're spending 0.25 calories saying thank you. Just do it. Well, like I said, he's not a perfect character. This is good for them to be grouped together. But in order to for him to even get back to the Brotherhood, he's going to have to kill Thad. Unless Thad can come around. But then he also lied and said Titus was still alive, so I don't know what he's gonna tell him. I guess he could say, you did speak to that uh, Titus when he was still alive on the radio, then he died later or something. Oh, 
What is there, like, f not even 40 people in there? I'm sorry, Reg. Times of crisis. You need someone with experience. Hey, it's your vote. No hard feelings, Davey. <laughs> I like this. How they're throwing in elections and into this. Just all the uncertainty. Really, it's fine. We vote in private booths for a reason. Right. He's gonna turn around and one more time. Yep. Betty's already been overseer once. I'm gonna vote for Betty. I got that impression. <laughs> I mean, she'd probably be the best out of the three. Him and the other guy are kind of idiots. Oh, who am I kidding? Oh, wow. Good on him, man. At this rate, we will caught up by sundown. Can I ask you a favor? Can you tell me what's happened in the last 200 years? <laughs> Just the last 200 years, like a, a quick rundown. Super quick. After the bombs fell. The bombs fell when I was a kid. Is that what they tell you in your brotherhood? Yeah. 219 years, right? You thought you would show up to some warlord and expect them to just turn over a hostage to you? I have the head. Yeah, but we don't even know what's in it. That's true. I'm curious what's in it, too. I come from a place where the world is what you make of it. It's not like up here. We're naive down there. Yes. Yes, you are. I really thought that the big light on our farm was the sun. My mom used to take me to play out under that light. Yeah, that remind that makes me think. They, there's no kids in there, in that vault. I mean, the other chick's about to have one, but I didn't see any other kids. So, like, Earth is round, Earth is flat. Where are you guys at on that these days? That's sad that in real life, 2024, there's still people that think there's a flat Earth. Man, I want to see the hacking screen, like in the game. Following his record of intervault trades implemented for the distribution of personnel. Robert Olson, elected overseer. Ava West. George Yaff. Wait, what? I gotta go back. Wait. Okay, so all their overseers are coming from Vault 31. With a 98% majority. Betty Pearson has been elected. She's also Vault from Vault 31. Overseer. I'm so honored to step into Peggy McLean's shoe. Huh. Maybe that vault is made to just, you know, breed people who are smart enough to be overseers. I don't know. It feels like something the Enclave would be doing. Congratulations, overseer. Thank you. Nope. Because <laughs> he knows. Okay, I was like, why is he hanging out there? He knows. Ooh. Oh, it's that dude. It's the chicken effort, isn't it? You armed? No! Oh, it's not the chicken effort. Yes, we are. Are you armed? No. Give me your gun. What? No! Hey! Walking towards you! They said they're not armed. They're lying. What's happening over there? Yeah, we're just being careful. You can come on through. How about on the count of three, we all we already said we don't have any weapons! And neither do we! Can we just give it a try? I feel like something bad's gonna happen, and then the music will just cut out. I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. What's up with the rise? Oh, she knows what that is. Oh, she wants it. She wants the pit boy. Okay, it's going bad. Here we go. Oh, we got hit. Whoa. I didn't think that was going to go go good. I was hoping it would, but... Good thing she took an actual gun from Super Duper Mart. Now they have more guns. Why? Fiends. That's that's what's up with her, eye, her eyes. You've been shot. It's just a scratch. It happens all the time. Does it? Mr. Always Sees Action. What's a fiend? People who eat people. I hate it up here. <laughs> I actually thought I'd been a drug user. Someone addicted to chems. Wait. Tell me they got the guns and stuff. You ran a great campaign. I know. Must have put ten posters up. <laughs> I ran once. Lost to none other than Hank McLean. You know what they say. 
When things look glum, vote for somebody, fall 31. Hmm. I voted for Betty. Yeah, you don't <laughs> have to tell people that. All right, so we got one baby now. You don't think it's weird that we always elect an overseer for Vault 31? They did the same exact thing in Vault 32. Honestly, no. By all accounts, Vault 31 has more resources, better education system, and... When things look glum, Vault 31. Could be, man. It could be they made that vault specifically trying to train the smartest people to be overseers. So if it's not at all worrisome, why are we whispering? Because we just snuck into a vault filled with dead bodies. Not to mention steps from Vault 31. Oh, hello, Norman. How's Vault 31 different from here? What did your dad tell you? Not much, actually. Gee, I don't know. Maybe the mashed potatoes were a little better? That is what my dad used to say. Hmm. Must be true, then. It must be true. I love these mysteries, man. Dang, how long... How, what kind of stock of cram, a.k.a. spam, do they have if it's lasted 219 years? And they gotta figure out what they're gonna do about not having water here in a few months. First capital of the new California Republic. Another faction this in the game. real, right? You never heard of the new California Republic? 34,000 people lived here after the war? Yeah. What about Reclamation Day? The entire purpose of my vault was to come up to the surface one day and... and restart civilization. It's, it's, it's Reclamation Day. It's what keeps us all going. It was worthless. It already ha happened without us. It's because they don't have communication with the surface. Well, How would they know? feel any better, it didn't work out. Come. Her world is just crashing. Everything she knew is just crashing down. Has been the entire time she's been up here. Man, this guy reminds me so much of Cuba Gooding. Looks like it could be his cousin or something. Ooh. Whoa. This is where one of the nukes fell. Wow, that looks so amazing, man. I just love how everything looks in this. What happened? Isn't it obvious? It's the same thing that always happens. Everyone wants to save the world. They just... They disagree on how. <laughs> that is so true in the game. I wonder if anyone survived. I did. Wait. There, okay, wait. Was there a second nuking? I think. Okay, I think that's what's happening. The nuke. The NCR was nuked after all those nu nukes hundreds of years ago. Hi, this, this is more than just a graze. There's no stim packs. We need to get the head. The head can wait. Oh, he is on borrowed time now. I wonder how far they are from that super duper mart. They could just go back and loot more stuff. Oh. Why is that familiar? Hawthorne Labs. Wasn't that in- I feel like that was in uh, Fallout 76 too. Wait. There could be anything in there. Yeah, like a first aid kit. Lucy! Oh, I love this. This is like, this is a good representation of the kind of uh, buildings you might walk in in the game. Although everything in this one is still pretty well kept. Now they might run into some robots here, man. Oh no! Oh, that's messed up. Oh, that's shady, man. I'm guessing Lucy ended up in that room first. Thank you for coming, everyone. It is important to me, for us all, to see this place together. So that we can heal together Wait, and what? rebuild together. Are they gonna check out the other vault? These vaults of ours are too sacred to leave empty, which is why I am announcing a resettling campaign. Others will be moving into Vault 32 in the coming weeks. What? How many, like I said, how many people are even left? Like 40? So they're gonna have 20 people in each vault or something? Where there used to be rain. Hmm. 
Where's all the people there? Today I'm a part of you, dear. Who cleaned it? Three oh, they missed a, they missed a spot of blood. Separated to prevent the spread of threats. What did they do, man? Is find anything interesting? She knows he did. Great job cleaning up. The Raiders destroyed so much. But not our spirits. Betty? When my mother died, what happened to her pit boy? It was buried with her. How are you so sure? Because I buried her myself. Me and your father. Hmm. She is the smartest of those three who got elected, but she's into something. Like I said, whatever Vault 31 is and these people from that vault, it's kind of like enclave-ish. You know, that's what the enclave is all about, these shadow kind of organization type things. Huh. Who did they just fall into the trap of? Oh, you know what's kind of funny? When they were walking to this building, I saw a spider web. And it's like they fall into a, a spider's trap. The spider web was on the window of a bus. I don't know if that was an, in uh, an intentional thing or not. I feel like it was. Where are we? It's okay. What is this place? We're in the best place in the world. Oh, what? What vault is this? They're in a vault. What? Someday. Oh, man. I don't even know what to think about that. That's crazy. It's just a it's like a high school. Oh yeah, that's why the school bus was outside. Okay, we just got done watching episode 5, The Past. Um, didn't get to learn too much about the past. Uh, we learned a little bit as far as Vault 33 uh, goes and how everyone you know that was in leadership as an overseer was from Vault 31. Eager to see what's happening with that mystery. Why did they clean up Vault 32? Why didn't they just tell him what happened? I don't know, man. Like I said, that feels like strategies that some, like a faction like the Enclave would employ, but I have no idea if the Enclave is involved in that or not, or if this is just something uh, altogether different. We still haven't, like, figured out how Moldaver kind of fits into the whole arching story of the wasteland in California, so eager to see what's going to happen with that as well. Let's go ahead and just jump into the next one, guys. Uh, this is going to be episode six, which is the trap. Here we go. Dang, now that they made this show, they're going to have to make like a, a Skyrim show or something. That'd be awesome. Oh, hello there. Mr. Cooper again. Today I'm here to show you a vast, wonderful place. A veritable Camelot of the nuclear age. There, that's better. Vault advertisement. Now I'm speaking to you from deep inside the fully livable model 96JQ1164. They even have the black bars on the right and left, like standard definition, to signify this is old. Strong enough to keep out the rads and the reds. Now this corridor here is Sycamore Street, where you'll wave howdy to any one of your 200 neighbors. Meet the Hawthorns. Lloyd and Cassandra here are both scientists, specializing in the effects of radiation on human DNA. Right here in Vault 4, leading a community governed entirely by scientists. All right. So Vault 4 is a science vault. A group of 80 volunteers will be conducting a five-year trial of Vault 4. Well, I may play a hero in the movies, but you all are heroes in real life. Because if the worst should happen tomorrow, the world is going to need Americans just like you. That was a great take. Look at that. Screen's going back Bella, to white screen. Happy? That was a cool transition. That was so awesome. Bud Askins, I overseer of Southern California operations. Came over to Vault Tech in Q3 after a 10 year stint at West Tech. West Tech. Defense contractor. Yeah, I remember that you guys from the game too. T45 power armor. That's the old one. I wore the T-45 when we almost lost the great state of Alaska to the Reds. Ooh. A good men and women, their lives. Yeah, product management was never my bag. So I'm all about scale. And most people think scale means increasing global market share. Because what is the ultimate weapon to destroy your competition? It's time. Hmm. 
time is the ultimate weapon. The future of all humanity comes down to one word. Yeah, what's that? Management. Well, I'm awful happy for you, Buck. <laughs> <laughs> Bud, Bud Askins. I wonder if that's going to come into play later, or if it was just that was just a way to cram West Tech into the show. There is a rap party. A rap party for this. Yes. All right, we go for a couple of hours. We shake a few hands. It's at our house. Ah. Things I'm willing to do for you never cease to amaze me. Wow, that is a house, all right. Reminds me of uh, the Anchorman, his house, Ron Burgundy. Wait, what did that say about Nuka-Cola? Nuka-Cola walks back new Nuka? <laughs> Roosevelt, I'm sorry you can't come, buddy. I'm heading into enemy territory. More troops deployed to Far East. Reds losing territory. A lot of cigarette smoke in these times, huh? Negotiations in Anchorage are having a serious impact. Increase it. Howard. Oh, he's Mr. back. Howard. Bud Askins. Right. Wonder if he's gonna pop up again later. All right. Well, I only do it for close friends and beautiful women. I, Bartholomew Codsworth, am ever ready to serve. <laughs> Why do I know that name, Codsworth? Oh, right. Yeah. It had the voice of the uh, the uh, Mr. Handys also. That's Codsworth from Fallout 4. Okay. Well, see, Bass might be the only one of my invites who actually showed up. I think our uh, Hollywood actor friends, I want to be seen celebrating with the pitch man for the end of the world. Here, I lost a movie over these ads. Showed up set. The actors wouldn't come out of their trailers. F Hollywood Reds. I'm telling you, radicalism is sweeping through Hollywood. I've even got your friend, Charlie Whiteknife. Are you kidding me, Charlie? I serve with that guy. I have meetings and everything. It's a sh show. World run by people who wear pocket protectors to a pool party. <laughs> I mean, I've dipped my bits in the same gravy train, sell my vocal rights to that spinning robot they sell to housewives and perverts. There we go. There's the connection. My agent got them to throw in one of those robots. <laughs> and it sounds just like me. I walk into my own house, my own voice saying, Hello, sir, do you want to sit down? <laughs> I thought the studio owned that character. They did, and then Rob Co bought the studio. Forget Hollywood. The future, my friend, is product. The end of the world is a product. They're selling it. To the future. To the future. Hmm. Nice segue there. I, Bath Bartholomew Codsworth, am ever ready to serve. Oh, he just passed out there. Oh, hello there, boys. Wait, 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 thing. Take his fusion core. I didn't know those things used fusion cores, but it makes sense. Destroying a legitimate business? That's illegal around these parts. Says who? The government. Oh, wow. That's probably my favorite title card yet. Unradiated. That is awesome. Okay. Well, his life got saved, but now he's in some hot water here with the local sheriff. Wait, Vault 4. Is this another flashback? Oh no, they are in Vault 4! Oh! Using teeth for ammunition. Always finding new ways to kill each other out there. Your friend is gonna have to recover here for a couple of days before it's safe to travel. You had a rotten human tooth lodged on your shoulder. You're not fine. Oh, and we found his armor. Our surface foragers are bringing it back now. Really? Not ideal for us to stay put, but I gotta admit, it sure feels good to be back in a vault. I was born on the surface. Oh. Oh. My mother was a courier. I was 11 and traveled with her to Philly. Three days walk from home and we could still feel the heat from the blast. You're from Shady Sands. Many of us are. We were lucky to find such a hospitable community here in Vault 4. We just need you to stay in quarantine a few hours longer to make sure you don't track in any contamination. I hope they're not up to anything shady with Lucy and uh, Max. You smell good. What? Thanks. Oh. You wanna have sex? <laughs> you mean use my c Uh, I guess yeah. that's one way to... <laughs> I don't know, uh, that weird thing. 
could happen. What weird thing? It gets all big and hard like a big pimple and then it pops. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's the point. Uh, that's actually completely normal. It happens all the time. Every time, ideally. <laughs> I'm a knight. A knight of the Brotherhood. No, you're not. We're not supposed to. Okie dokie. <laughs> that's awkward. That's so awkward. Uh oh, the music's. Test subjects! I knew they're. Oh, I saw that in that commercial too. Damn it. They're messing with them, man. We shouldn't be wasting time down here. You heard the doctor. Besides, we made a deal to find that head together. I think these people are trying to trap us here. No, well, they're not. And some of these people are from the surface, like you. This is a cult. Same as any. It's not a cult. Everyone's smiling. In the vaults, we recognize that we all need each other, just like I needed you on the surface. We're stuck here until you're able to travel, so give this place a shot. I mean, he looks able to travel. Overseer Benjamin, this is Lucy and Titus. Hey, guys. Oh, uh, what? Hello, and obviously, welcome to Vault 4. Stay out of level 12. Obviously, we prefer you not go there. Oh, and if you're unfamiliar with how the bathrooms work, just ask. Okay, <laughs> that should cover it. <laughs> Any questions or concerns? None. I, I have no questions for you, sir. We're glad to have you. Thank you. He kind of looks like that SNL guy. I can't remember his name. What the hell? Okay, they're testing crap on him. weird, right? The overseer? That's what I'm saying. What people are nice. Talking about his eye. Lots of people have one eye. Well, oh. yeah. But not right there. This was in the middle. It's a little to the left. And the level 12 stuff? I mean... What? Sorry. Okay. All kinds of... Oh, maybe they're using radiation to experiment on people in there. The title card was all radiated. It doesn't get any better than this. Nope, it does not. You ever think about working somewhere else? I used to, but with you doing these ads, it's practically the family business. <laughs> oh, that's a good question. I think about it, couldn't Also, sure whatever is. happened to his daughter? Like, Sarah, if he survived, did his daughter survive? Ranch up in Bakersfield. And what would I do? You would look pretty and help me raise chickens. What's gotten into you? The gin martini. <laughs> I haven't been reading too much news lately. Got me second guessing the whole city life. Oh, come on. You you've seen these around. Bud Askins, he licensed them from Robco. We're integrating them with the vault Tech emission system. He did come back into the story. You want to spend your nine to fives working with these assholes? I need this job, Coop. It guarantees us a spot in the vault. We've got money. One of the good vaults. What's that supposed to mean? Each one has a different mission. Some are crappy missions for p humans. I'm doing what I can, okay? Just trust me. I mean, Coop's your husband. You, I feel like you could tell him more. I get that there's probably some top secret confidential stuff, but hey, man. As all nations race to secure uranium and turning even allies into potential competitors. Sorry you couldn't make it to the party the other night, Charlie. Guess you had one of your meetings, huh? Communist meetings? Come on, man. We watch people die together up north fighting against all that horse shit. Voltex the f devil, man. My wife works there. Do you know what fiduciary responsibility means? I have no f idea. So the U.S. government has outsourced the survival of the human race to vault -Tec. Private corporation that has the fiduciary responsibility to make money for its investors. That's called capitalism, Charlie. But they can't sell vaults if these peace negotiations go through. vault -Tec has the fiduciary responsibility to make sure that it don't work out. Get involved with making sure the war doesn't work out. vault -Tec is a trillion dollar company that owns half of everything. 
The cattle ranchers are in charge, Coop. Oh, come on. Mm. It's like the title of the episode. You sound like you're a cult. You're sitting here defending a system that's ready to set the world on fire, Cooper. Maybe you're the one in the cult. You should come to a meeting. You should learn the truth about where your wife works. Hmm. For her sake. It's gonna cause a rift between him and his wife. I mean, there's already the start of one there, but yeah. And I like how all these issues tie into real life, too. It's kind of like how, um, you know, military contractors, um, you know, like civilian security companies can't really exist unless there's war, you know? Hello? Hello, may I speak to Barb, please? Who is it? It's Henry. Is this Mr. Cooper Howard? My wife prefers not to take work calls in the evenings. Oh, no, 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 All right, bye-bye. Uh, that was Henry from work. Is Janie asleep? Uh, she's reading Little House on the Prairie to Roosevelt. Ah, does he like it? Mm. What? It's going to be hard on her. That's all. What is? You know, no dogs in the vaults. Yeah, she's serious. He's not serious about it. Says who? Hmm? No dogs in the vault, says who? That's the policy. Dogs eat meat. It's an avoidable inefficiency. That's not really the question, is it? Who decided that there were no dogs in the vault? Relatively trivial concern, given the prerequisite conditions of us living in a nuclear fallout shelter. I'm serious. Who, who, who makes the rules? That is a new rule. Somebody decided that and didn't share it with anyone. I mean, what else do you have in store for us? The blue jumpsuits. Are those mandatory? What if I don't want to wear a... So the bomb falls and you want to know about your wardrobe? No, I want to know about my freedom. He wants to know everything. The fine print. So that I could live in a cellar under the boot heel of Chairman Bud Askett. And while you were away at war, I stayed home. And every night I was driving myself crazy, imagining the worst. You do not need to tell me how bad war is, Coop. And I think about how humanity can survive a nuclear event. And you're talking to me about hiding out at a ranch up in Bakersfield. But when the bombs drop, a two hour drive ain't gonna cut it. So yes, there will be no dogs in the vault. I will do whatever it takes to make sure the people I love, that is you and that is Janie, aren't among them. I have worked hard to make sure we go into a special vault where we will oversee all of the other vaults. That's what I was saying about 31, man. That is the best we can possibly hope for, for Janie. Yes, that's what I was saying. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know you always try to do the right thing. That's what I love about you. He gets it. He, I think the point he was making, maybe not so delicately, is he wants to know everything, all the rules, all the fine print, for something that would be that serious for your life. I'm from a vault. So you are. Goosey McLean. That is that SNL guy, I think. It has to be. He has the same voice and kind of the face and the eye. You don't meet a natural born vault dweller every day. We're a dying breed. You're from here? Five generations. I'm proud of it. Huh. So many people here seem to be refugees from the surface. Tell me about it. They come in here with their smelly food and weird ideas. I don't understand. If you don't like people from the surface, then why do you keep taking them in? It's a policy from before my time. They test. This vault is for testing stuff. I think what you're doing here is a really good thing. I saw what was left of Shady Sands and an entire city just destroyed. You took our share of the men and gave them a home. It's like you can't make a funny joke about it without offending these guys. <laughs> what was the joke? I forget. All I know is it was a huge bomb. <laughs> <sighs> oh, she doesn't get it. <clears throat> no, she gets it. What's on level 12 and why can't we go there? Ugh. I you should go now. I only wanted to- Goodbye, Goosey. That's weird. Among other things that are weird. Skedaddle. Okay. I don't know how they're gonna get out of there. I guess he'll have to find a way to access that suit and, you know, brute force his way out. Maybe they have a fusion core back there. Where do you guys get your power from? Hmm. 
Just gonna show him, huh? Wow. What is powering then? Ah, there we go. Well, you can't take it without the whole place losing power. These are in the game too. You can find some of these terminals that have the fusion core and take it. Keep it for your suit. I see you found our fusion core. Hmm? How are we just to light down here? Does it matter? I'm leaving soon. Some people who come here have a hard time adjusting to finally feeling safe. Trust doesn't come easily to those of us with a guilty conscience. Here, unit 428. How about you sleep in a room of your own tonight? Hot shower. Nothing wrong with a little bit of comfort. And when you say hot shower, what does that mean exactly? He's never taken a hot shower. Oh yeah, this is definitely not a good place for them. <laughs> this is kind of uh, like the movie Get Out, a little Get Out-ish. Ah, I got some sugar bombs. All these things from the game. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> For some people on the surface, this would be paradise. For a lot of people on the surface, I'm sure. Give me the simple life. potatoes. Give me the simple life. Did he like it? I couldn't tell. Excuse me. What is this? Caviar, man. I guess he liked it. There's your, whatever, 200 years of history that you needed. Two-headed bear, man. Man, I love the little tidbits it's able to fill in about the, the Fallout universe. What's going on? It's a surface dweller tradition. It can get a little rambunctious on my taste. You're welcome to come? Sure. Hmm, is it like gonna be a concert or something? The government. <laughs> the government. A Sorel Booker. Ah. <laughs> oh man, this guy. I like this guy as an actor. I've seen him in quite a few things. You boys know who you just brought in? This son bitch right here used to be the best bounty hunter to ever shoot a man in the ass. Say, you got a needle in three. Sorry. We don't do a lot of knitting around here. I think I got some in my bag. Hmm. Would you mind? I come on now. Uh, Sorrow, we old friends, ain't we? Two hundred years. I don't know what keeps you going. Oh, okay. Maybe you're still looking for her. His daughter? Is that what it is? I sure as hell ain't still alive so that I can have unintelligent conversations with dip just like yourself. Hmm. That's the president of the government you're talking to. I still don't get how these fingers are still working if they just sew them back on. Now what I am hearing is a whole lot of chatter about some woman named Moldavu. They call her the Flame Mother. Now that bitch is dangerous. But that super duper mart you gutted was under our protection. Now you got anything to say in your defense? Guilty as charged. Just like that. Just like that kind of funny because he didn't do it I'll tell you about this town i just shot up philly my daddy lives in philly well not no more he don't unless he's a coward don't take the bait son the apple tends not to fall too far from the tree my daddy ain't no coward then i guess the only question is are you Sheriff Rex, take Sheriff Troy's guns away. I love the dialogue in this scene, man. Take him out back and feed him the hogs. Mmm, yeah, that's not gonna work out. We know it's not gonna work out. Ooh, there we go. Wow. God damn it. <laughs> I got oh, one man. question for you, old buddy. Why? 
you have this picture on your wall. That's Moldaver. He knows her as some other name? That's not how I remember her at all. What? Yeah. How do you remember her? What? Wait, this is literally some cult stuff. What is this? The hell is this? What? Is this about to turn into an orgy or something? I cannot believe I'm seeing this. Thanks for coming. Yeah, we'll see if I stay. You'll stay. Blame mother, we remember. What is this, man? We bring back shady sands. Shady Sands blood must spill. What? Why are they intertwining it with that flashback of the communists? Must spill. Bring back Shady Sands blood must spill. Oh, flame mother, you will be our salvation. It's literally a cult. Wait, it's not his daughter. Oh, flame mother, you will be our salvation. What? I'm a big fan. What the hell's going on? What? People see her as a, a deity or something? You were right about this place. No. These are called oysters? You want one? They make you feel so good. You wanna make my cock explode now? <laughs> no, we need to leave. Right now. These people are insane. It's my arm. You know, I really, I ought to give it a little more time. He's been wooed by this stuff. I know this must all seem really nice compared to the shoot show that's up there. And just be somewhere that is good and safe. But this isn't it. These people are hiding something from us. I'm gonna prove it to you, okay? What the heck is going on in this place? Oh man. She's gonna go up to level 12. Or try to. Why do they... Why are they worshipping Moldaver? How is she still alive after all this time? And she's not a ghoul, you know? Hopefully she took her Pip-Boy back. I didn't even notice. She did, okay. What? It's a gulper. What? Oh my god, this vault might be responsible for creating some of the monsters on the surface. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Freaking god! She gave birth to freaking gulpers, man. What? Oh my god. What else did they create, man? You'd think the door to this place would have been locked. Oh, there's someone behind you. Oh, it's Mr. It's Dr. Nose. Glad you're all right. When I saw the door was open, I worried one of you might have gotten out. The hell, man. Hello? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He ain't playing. Punch him right in that other nose. Ooh. Shoot! 
There's too many. You people are crazy. Your entire culture is insane. Oh, dude. Oh, he needs to snap out of this. He's sitting there watching a freaking waterfall. Oh, that's where we're gonna end it. We're gonna leave it there. Oh, God. Oh. Man, these outros look so freaking good. You know, this is random, but um, in the game Fallout 76, the most recent game, uh, when they announced that this show was going to be made, they uh, they released a uh, in-game Vault 33 jumpsuit that you could put on. All right, so we just got done watching episode six, The Trap. They fell into the trap, man. I don't quite understand what the extent of this place is yet. I'm not sure if we'll ever get the full story, honestly, but they test on people in this vault. And they said in the flashback for Cooper that uh, they use radiation. They, they test radiation on people. So... Uh, yeah, that kind of makes me, you know, just powers of deduction. They're responsible for at least the gulpers being created. Who knows what else? Uh, that was, ins that's crazy, man. That's that scene where you see on the video, the gulpers coming out of her, she gives birth to them. Uh, that is so crazy. And I wonder if, uh, all those people in the cryo tanks are also pregnant people with gulpers or other creatures. I guess we have yet to see, but... Um, how does this all tie into Moldaver? Why are there people worshipping her? Why was she... You know, she did look a little younger in uh, the flashback for Cooper, but in the present, she's not that much older. So it's like, what's going on? I got questions I need answered. It's going to have to wait for the next video, though. So, uh, yeah. Fascinated with the show. I absolutely love all of these episodes. It's getting really good. We're really getting into the meat of all the little intricacies of the Fallout universe, all these little tidbits that you're hearing are stuff from the universe, uh, Rob Co. West Tech, even the bits about communism, that stuff, the inner workings of Vault Tech, everything, man. What an immersive universe. And you know, it's kind of funny because when I, the last time I played Fallout games, like I said, was Fallout 76 and then before that, Fallout 4. When I started uh, Fallout 4 for the first time, this was several years ago, uh, I was thinking to myself, you know, all these games are kind of the same. Why are they so fascinating? Because it's always the same setting. Post-apocalypse, you know, nuclear fallout wasteland. Why do we keep coming back to these games when it's all the same? You even have mostly the same creatures. It's because this universe is so immersive. There's so much to it. That's why people keep coming back, even though they're making essentially the same game with just a different setting, you know? That's why. It's, it's so fascinating. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up, but if you're still here in this video, thanks for taking the time out of your day to hang out with me and watch this with me. If you have any other movies or shows you want me to check out, please let me know in the comments, and we'll see you guys in the next one, which will probably be the last one. I'll uh, knock out episodes 7 and 8 in the same reaction. So yeah, we'll see you guys in that next one. Peace.